So you're thinking about moving to Irvine, California. Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, the good and the bad of living in Irvine, California, right here in South Orange County. So let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Irvine, California. Hi, my name is Troy Gregory with Starfire Real Estate, and the team and I get calls, emails, and texts from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, send us a text, drop us an email, We'd love to help you make that move here to Irvine. Now, as I said, today we're gonna to be talking about the good, the bad, the pros and cons of living here in Irvine and see if it is the right fit for you and your family. So here we go with pro number one. Pro number one is shopping and entertainment. There is a lot of shopping and entertainment in Irvine, California. Here at the Irvine Spectrum, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's an outside shopping center. You have all the major uh, retailers from Target, Nordstrom's, H&M, Old Navy, all kinds of shopping for you, plus a lot of small uh, shops as well. This is one of my favorite stores here at the Irvine Spectrum. It's called Rocket Fizz, and they have all kinds of quirky things that you can find. I love just walking through this store and seeing what I can find that's different. As far as restaurants go, there's probably not a type of food that you can't get here at the Irvine Spectrum. Uh, you have the great, the great site, the Cheesecake Factory, Javier's, the Yard House, uh, plus a lot of other smaller restaurants that you can eat at, anywhere from Asian food to Thai food, Italian, Mexican, any type of food that you could possibly want. As far as entertainment, you're not lacking there either. There's the Regal Theater, which has over 21 theaters for you to go catch a movie in. There's also the Irvine Improv, so you can catch comedy seven days a week, get your laugh on and have a good time there. Plus there's all kinds of bars to go along with the restaurants that you have here at the Irvine Spectrum. Pro number two is education. Irvine has one of the best school districts in the state. It is ranked number 15 out of 440 school districts in the uh, California area, according to niche.com. Irvine has six public high schools, all of which are rated in the uh, top 85 of the state with the highest being ranked at number nine, and that's University High School. And all six of those high schools have A plus ratings, according to niche.com. Uh, also, in addition to the K through 12 school system, there's also a junior college here in Irvine. It's Irvine Valley College, which is very, very highly rated as well. And as well as there is a university, the University of California at Irvine, which according to niche.com is ranked number 15 as far as public universities in the whole United States. Pro number three would be Irvine's proximity to John Wayne Airport, which is a regional airport here in Southern California. John Wayne Airport is probably 15 to 20 minutes from anywhere here in uh, Irvine, so that makes it nice and convenient. You can get to anywhere in the country, and it's a lot better than having to travel to LAX, let me tell you. Nobody wants to deal with LAX travel. The one con I would say about um, John Wayne Airport is the fact that they don't have a lot of flights and there's not a lot of direct flights. So if that's what you're looking for, you might have to go to LAX. But as far as uh, general commuting is concerned, it's a great airport and it's great if you have family coming in town so that they can uh, fly in and you don't have to travel a long ways to pick them up. So that works out very well. Speaking of transportation, that brings us to con number one, and that is public transportation. There's not a lot of public transportation here in Irvine. Uh, you do have the buses, but they don't run a lot. So you have to work around the schedule for the buses. There is no, obviously no subway system like you would have in bigger cities like New York and San Francisco. Uh, there is the, um, train station here but again it doesn't uh, have a lot of times where it goes out and you can take it up to LA or you can take it down to San Diego but you have to work around the times that are uh, available for that and as I just mentioned John Wayne Airport although it's nice and convenient and close 
there are not a lot of flights going out, there are not a lot of direct flights going out, and so it ends up costing you a little bit more, but you save time on travel time. Con number two would be affordability. Everything in Southern California is expensive. Whether you're going out to eat, whether you're going shopping, whether you're trying to buy a home. If you're coming somewhere from back east, you'll get sticker shock when you go to look at houses, but it is the price you pay for living in the area that we live in. I mean, you have sunshine almost every day of the year. Uh, it's absolutely perfect weather, so you can't complain about that. But that is a con, affordability. Con number three is traffic. Anywhere you go in Southern California, you're gonna run into traffic and Irvine is no different. You have the 5 freeway and the 405 freeway, two of the busiest freeways in the country, if not the world, so you have a lot of traffic there. Of course, traveling across town, there are some major thoroughways, but they do back up at any given point during the day, so you're gonna just have to plan for that accordingly. With all the great schools, you have drop-offs and pickups, so at those times of days, you have traffic as people are trying to pick up and drop off their kids. So if you can avoid those areas, it definitely works out better for you. Best thing is work remotely from home, then you don't have to deal with the traffic, right? So those are my pros and cons for living in Irvine, California. Like I said, if you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, send me a text, drop me an email. I'd love to help you make that move here to Irvine, California. So until next time, see you around town.